good morning. It's actually sunny as you can see, which is nice. However, this is my worst walk to work. I went walking with some friends on the weekend and I put my hiking boots on for the first time since coronavirus started and I've ended up with a ginormous blister. Anyway, weekend was fun, We're pretty good. Ready for a new week, I better give a duo a try and try in a second. Here we see how we go. Okay, so perfect score on duo, so everything's all good. See you in the office. So today I'm gonna to look at the bond. These five profiles here, they make up last week, and we can see that the market set this low on Wednesday. It's kind of a poor low, but then on Thursday, the market held with a buying tail, creating an inside day, and the market drove higher on Friday, breaking this inside day. So Friday created this triangular sort of balance. Now, the interesting thing here is the US CPI offer. Now, if, for example, the market can spend some time auctioning out this area on Friday's high, creating an imbalance in the auction, then maybe this move can be retraced. Now, the thing that worries me here about this idea is that these profiles are kind of like ugly shaped and that sort of tells us something about the participants in the market that they're not sort of like ideal. So I'm kind of mildly convicted on this idea. The other thing to keep in mind today is that it's an EU holiday. So we may have sort of less participants in the market. So we've got to keep an eye on the volumes and look at how the market's trading. The trade this morning didn't really set up, um, but there was some pretty interesting price action. So um, what we're looking at now is just a couple of minutes after the cash open. And you can see just there that the market just took 21s, uh, sorry, 22s, 21s, 20s, and now 19s offered with no two-way price action. So now it's at um, the initial balance low, which was actually 20s, so we're through it. And now you can see there's what, uh, 600 lots now traded at 19, so like quite, of a bit of, quite a bit of absorption, like right at the very lows. So this kind of price action, the market just comes right down to the lows without any two-way. So I, you can't really judge how strong the sellers are because they're not doing any effort to get there. And then you just get sort of absorption around a key area. Now you've got to start asking lots of questions here. This is really suspicious price action. Right, you can see just then that now the market's taken bid, all those prices really easy, which the market, you know, which the sellers took offered really easy earlier on. And so now we're seeing almost like this inverse of this price action. Like now we had, well before we had easy down, now we've got this like really easy up. So the market bid set a new high, it's then pulled back and had some absorption on the bid. So if this is going to go again, it really has to like, get, develop some momentum here and get some trade going. But I mean already, if we look at the ladder, like trade's quite slow. And by the way we've got here, as we looked at before, by this kind of like easy trade up without any sort of thickness in the order book, um, without the buyers having to do any work, it's really hard to judge and so this is a really questionable way. Um, for the market to set up a bid so now you know very hesitant up here um, as you can see I'm obviously not getting involved um, offer at 38s is really um, small and it's almost like the sellers trying to trick the buyer into buying there was one lot that went up at 39 and that was actually the um, high tech there was one lot trade at 39s and then the market offers and then that confirms the high for the morning okay so it's the end of the day and you can see um, that the market's formed a balance um, we've closed near the highs so quite strongly now some interesting things about the day we broke the sort of afternoon swing high into the close and then this low here if we have a look on the footprint which is just up here it's actually quite a poor low so that's something to keep in mind if this market fails tomorrow so these are a few things i'll um, note down and i'll have a look at again tomorrow morning when i make my ideas all right guys it's the end of the day the markets are a bit tricky at the moment the structure is not the easiest so we'll uh, see what tomorrow brings see you in the morning